Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Now the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on January 21st celebrates the life and legacy of a man who was the chief spokesperson for nonviolent activism in the civil rights movement. Each year, the legacy of Dr. King is celebrated here in the Queen City at Klein Hands Music Hall. And joining us this morning to talk about the special event is Bessie Patterson, organizer of the event. Good morning. Good, it's good morning to, see to you. you. Good to see you too. Yes, it is such a pleasure. There's a lot to talk about. The event is this Sunday. It's a free event. Free event. Talk us through the free night. Event. What's going to be happening? Well, we're going to have very good entertainment. Ooh, we like that. We're having, I can name a few of them. Yes, please. We got Hutch Tech's Gospel Choir, Hutch Tech School, and uh, we have the Citywide Choir, which I am the director. We have Joshua's Generation, which is a phenomenal uh, choir. They are nationally known. They're gonna be on. And uh, we have uh, the Bells, I don't know if you heard of them, but they're mm -hmm. gonna be on, they do the songs with just the bells, mm -hmm. which is very unique. They're going to be singing. We have Elam Christian Fellowship Praise Dancers. And um, I can't think of the others right There's now. A lot but of so many of them. There's so many. And we're honoring <laughs> eight people in the Buffalo, Niagara community that we chose that are doing outstanding work in the community and have done outstanding work. We're honoring eight people. And that is just phenomenal because George, George, uh, James McLeod is one of them, Lillian Batchelor, Leticia Conrad, and uh, Kelly Galloway, because uh, she does foreign mission all over the world where she's going helping people that are less fortunate than she is and helping children, you know, that have been abandoned and, you know, how they, uh, with the uh, trafficking that they do, you know, mm -hmm. selling their children you know, for those kinds of purposes we, we know about. And she is being honored also. So we're just planning a fantastic time and we just invite everybody to come out. And it's free. It's free. It's free. And it sounds it's like free. a wonderful event. I know yeah. you put so much work into this each yeah. and every year. Mm -hmm. What is the theme of this year's event? The theme of the event is follow the footsteps, live the dream, unity wins. Mm -hmm. That means that we're all together we will win and we need to follow his footsteps because he did a lot. He sacrificed his life for all of us that we would work together and would be better, a better nation, a better world. And this is what we need to continue to uh, carry out the dream of Dr. King because he even, he gave his life up serving people. And uh, the least thing we could do is just keep his legacy alive by honoring him. And we want young people to come out because a lot of them don't know the works of Dr. King and they will get a chance to hear our keynote speaker, which is the pastor Jason Drayden of the Cal um, First Calvary Baptist Church. And he's phenomenal. He is really good, a young man, but he's equipped and they will miss a treat if they're not there to hear. So everyone is invited to come. Bessie, is it true that Dr. King spent some time here in the Queen City? Well, that they said about 50, be 51 years ago that wow. he supposed to had been here all right at Klein Hands on the stage that he was here. Yeah, it's amazing yes. to think about. It is amazing to think that he was right in our midst. Well, he wasn't as known, well known as he finally became, mm -hmm. but the fact is that he did come here. So that's a good thing. And it's really neat because he did make his way to Klein Hands and that's where the event that's is going event to be this Sunday be. before uh -huh. ML King Day. Now the event is hosted by the Concerned Citizens Following the Dream Committee. Yes. Talk to us about the committee. What do you do each and every year day by day? Well, we start right as soon as the uh, event is over, we start first of all trying to make sure that we have sponsors because right. because the event is free mm -hmm. we have to have sponsors to keep it going and we're proud of our sponsors and i can name a few of them m t bank okay. is uh one of the sponsors wegmans senator kennedy ulysses wingo who is one of the council persons uh lombardo funeral home thomas t edwards funeral home barbara uh Mill barbara miller williams legislator I'm just trying to remember yeah, them. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that a, help this unit, happen each and every ECMC year. UNIT, ECMC Medical mm -hmm. Center. There will be a keynote speakers there as well. Yes, that's uh, Jason Drayton, mm -hmm. the pastor of Cal First Calvary Baptist Church. He's the keynote speaker. 
Yeah, so he has and a lot in store. I'm sure he's been preparing for this oh, for my quite goodness. some time. And he's excited. And everybody is excited about it. And uh, we are so excited that we are. And just like I said, we are glad that we are able to spotlight people in our community that are doing fantastic things or have done great things. And we just want people to come out and help us celebrate. It will be a lot of fun, a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. A lot and, of energy. A uh, lot of everything. Just a lot of right energy. We're just going to have a grand hands. time. Well, you thank know. you so much. And I know you put so much work and effort into this every year. And yes. we want to thank you. Thank you for having yes. me. Yes, yes, Thanks yes. So All right, much. everybody. Well, there is a lot to celebrate, especially the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on Sunday, January 20th at 6 p.m. at Klein Hands Music Hall. Now, remember, this event is free and open to the public. We hope to see you there.